Let's have a real conversation. A real conversation. Big, big question. Today's only Wednesday. And this has been the question of the week. I've had people inbox me over and over again, how to make money with no money. And I thought about it and I said, okay, this, this is just something that keeps going on. This is just a question that happens over and over and over. But we really need to discuss the bigger problem. I know in your mind, Glendon, I have no money. I need money. Jojo need milk. Big mama needs some, some money. Little so-and-so needs this. He needs that. Everybody needs money. I have no money and people don't value me. I need to get some money. And I know you're going, that's the larger problem. No, it's not. It's not the larger problem. Let's look at the larger problem, which is you do not put money as a priority in your life. It's not a priority. If you can get to level 152 on Zawaski's game or whatever, whatever fucking game, if you can get to the highest level, but you don't have any damn money to your name, playing games, doing this other stuff is more of a priority to you than earning money because you can earn money with no money. But see, this is the problem. You have to work. You'll have to work maybe some bullshit job. You may have to do some shit you don't want to do to earn money. This is the problem. I did an analysis. What I'm really getting is, hey, Glendon, how the hell can I make a lot of money with little to no fucking effort? That's the cusp of it because there's more videos on this channel that tell you exactly what to do, how to do it. But, you know, Glendon, man, uh, I'm not trying to work that hard. I understand I'm living with my mama. I understand I'm living with my parents. I understand I have no money, but I'm trying to have that lifestyle like you have that internet lifestyle where you come and go as you please do what you want to do that's what i'm looking for and i don't want to pay you and i don't really want to pay anyone i just want to get paid second problem it's all about you there's no one else that comes into the equation you got to get money not we got to get money you got to get money no one else matters. You're selfish as fuck. That's another reason you are broke. That's another reason you are broke. You're selfish as I don't know what. So, and I'm going to keep the points close. Number one, money's not a priority to you. It's not. Number two, you're selfish as fuck. Number three, you believe in fairy tales. I want you to really think about this. And I'm, you know, sometimes when someone pulls a thought out of your head and they give it back to you, you go, oh, now that it's, the air is hit it and it's turned green, that shit looks crazy as it sounds. You're asking someone you don't want to pay, you don't want to do anything for to help you earn a significant amount of money and only be paid in your undying gratitude. Now, let's flip it. I came to you, I came to your house, and I said, feed me. But, and you cool with that. You're cool with that. She's like, hey, I got some leftover steak. Uh, and you're like, no, 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 no. I don't want steak. I want that, you know, I want that stuffed flounder and some garnishes and could you get a certain Merlot? And they sell it in Publix. So not only are you coming, not only am I coming to your house and I'm turning down the good food that you were offering me. The steak was awesome. Just got to heat it up. And they'll be, you know, sometimes leftovers are better than the main dish because they seasoned a little bit more. But no, I don't want that. I want you to go to the store, spend money, cook, and then feed me exactly what I want at the right temperature, at the right time, with a 
with a mildly chilled Merlot because you don't, yeah. Now, if someone came to your house with those requirements, what would you think? They're fucking crazy. Yes, that's the problem. People don't think, don't think. So, number one, money's not a priority. Number two, you're selfish as fuck. Number three, you are living a fantasy. You're living a fantasy. This is why you're broke. For, to make money with no money requires that you give some type of equity of your life. The more unskilled, the more unremarkable services or talents that you have, the harder you will have to work. It's there. It's possible. It's on the table. But the thing is, many of you can't get it through your fucking thick skulls that you got to work. You have got to work. There is no Superman, no Spider-Man. There's no Incredible Hulk. There's no fucking Thor coming to save your ass. If you do not put your ass to work, whenever whatever support system you have, whatever people are helping you, when they're in a position where they can't help you, you will perish. The average woman who receives significant child support, once that child support is over, enters into poverty because they become dependent on the money of other people. This is why you have generation after generation of people on public assistance. Generation after generation, because they have been taught that someone's going to do something significant for them. I'm sorry. I don't care if it's three, 400 bucks a month. You get a check for doing absolutely nothing at all and you didn't earn it. That's significant. And we got these people who are wondering why they can't move forward why they can't make the money they want to make because it's not a priority it's not on the table it's not thought about and i know you're going like i think about not having money all the time see once again that goes to that selfishness you think about you not having money you do not think about what you can do for another person it's all about you and as long as it stays in that little circle of you Real tight. Money can't get in. Money it can't get in. No, it can't get in. You got to start thinking about bigger things other than yourself, other than your needs, other than your selfish desires and wants. Long time ago, when I used to think like you, and this is why I'm being so hard, because I know the mindset, because I used to have it. I used to go to the store and pull out these magazines and see these fancy ads, and there's this slick guy in front of a Nice audio system, because see, back in the day, an audio system, you know, if you had a nice audio, that was a sign of prestige and status, your audio system. And, hey, if you send me $29.99, next month you could be driving a Ferrari. I was that fucking stupid. I was there because, see, when you are selfish, when you only think about yourself and when you don't place money as a priority and you don't think, it's very easy to be seduced by anything. If I had sat back and said, why would someone sell me how to make millions of dollars for $29.99? I would have been like, this is some bullshit. But I didn't think like that because I was desperate. I wanted that shine. I had that thirst. Yeah, I wanted to be like, you know, Mr. Big stuff, Mr. Big, rolling around in a nice car, living in a nice neighborhood, doing all that stuff. But never really thought about the process of how to get that stuff. And that's where you are. I have people who are mad at me on this channel because I just don't sit and talk to them for hours and hours and hours, giving them good information for free because they had simply asked for it. My daddy told me I was special. My mama told me I was special. Yeah, they did. You're special to them. No one else. If your ass can disappear for a day and nobody's blowing up your phone looking for you, that should tell you what you've done for other people. If you can die in your apartment and nobody comes looking for you within the days, they find your ass when the rent wasn't paid or they find your ass in the house when the mortgage wasn't paid and they come in and you mummified, that tells you your service to humanity. If you're in a position where you could just disappear for weeks and nobody's looking for your ass, you ain't really done shit for nobody. And that's why you're broke. That's why you're broke and you will continue to be broke as long as you continue to think like that.
I know you you came here and you saw the title and you're just looking like for some simple, quick, really, really easy solutions to solve your complex ass problems. There's going to be a solution section to this video and you'll have to pay for it. I, I know it's horrible. It's called being in the real world. That's called being an adult. Yeah, I'm going to give you some serious solutions. I'm going to take you from point A to point B, how to go from broke to some money, from some money to okay money, from okay money to, oh, now I have the money I want. Notice the steps. Broke to some money, some money to okay money. There's steps. Many of you want to just leap over all of that and get to the money you want. Don't serve nobody. Don't help nobody. Don't do shit for nobody else but your selfish ass. And you keep wondering why it's just a party of one. Why nobody gives a fuck about you. Yeah, that's the reality. If you are broke and all your friends are broke, and you know, if you're black, or you want to go with African-American, then you're going to like, well, let's institutionalize racism. I'm going to say bullshit. It's because you do not place a priority on earning money. You don't. You're hoping to earn money. You're hoping someone to come in and save you because, see, this is how I look at slavery. I look at the brutality. I look at the horror of slavery uh, and the people who survived that of being as some extremely tough motherfuckers. You can walk in the room and have your dick cut off because you said the wrong thing to the wrong person. You, you can walk in the room and see someone raping your wife. You had to deal with that shit. You learn how to read an elementary book and somebody coming to your house to kill you because you learned how to read. The people who survived that are strong. They were not niggas or niggers. They were neither one of those people. They were strong black folks. That's my legacy. That's the folks that I want to make proud. None of this other bullshit. So if those folks had to do that just to learn how to read and you sitting around with an iPhone, you're sitting around with an iPad, you got air conditioning, internet, you're playing bullshit games and you sitting around broken. You wonder why? It's because you don't give a fuck. So don't give me that. Miss me with that bullshit. Well, let's institutionalize racism. No, it's you are fucking lazy. You don't really. And it's one thing to be ignorant because I'm ignorant to a lot of stuff and I have to learn many things in life. But it's another thing to purposely stay fucking ignorant. If you don't know, you don't know, that's cool. But if you continue to not know year after year, decade after decade, decade, that's on your stupid ass. That's you. I mean, I mean, seriously, that's you. And as someone who got online early, 2000, started selling on eBay, started selling on Amazon, had my own websites, I learned you can win with racism. Racism isn't going anywhere. Racism is a problem. But it's not, it shouldn't be your problem. It should be someone else's problem. What I mean by that is you should not wake it up going, well, you know, the man is not going to let me win today. So why should I even fucking try? You're a fucking low expectation having ass loser. Understand, I'm not going to marginalize the problems of racism, but I'm not going to marginalize your low output ass either. And go, oh, that's okay. No. We live in a world of unbridled opportunity, but many people are not taking advantage. Now, if you want to go from no money to some money, stay tuned. I'm going to give you that information. I'm going to give you a step-by-step -step process, and we're going to have some fun with this.